Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is holy cow prom season, super duper soon. I personally never went to prom and I'm also way too old to go to prom at this point, but I do love the concept of dressing up in a super glittery dress, like doing your hair and makeup and going out and just dancing and having a good time with your friends and your date or your boyfriend or whatever. Like, yes, I super regret never going to prom and if someone still wants to ask me, I can double as a date and a chaperone because I'm old, just saying. I just wanted to do a super kind of like semi-easy tutorial because I feel like you really want the focus to be on your dress. And if you're not wearing a super glittery, super extra dress for prom, you definitely should be because that is the one time like let me tell you the older you get the less acceptable it is to wear an all glitter dress and the less excuses you have to wear one anyways so if you can wear an all glitter dress at some point in your life i would totally do it if i were wearing an all glitter dress which i don't even own so bleh, i would kind of want to just do a little bit more matte kind of like neutral but still dramatic eyeshadow look like you don't want to do too much sparkle so the look that I did for today is kind of a very natural matte um, cut crease. And then at the end, I gave some options of how to add sparkle or shimmer if you want to. It is prom, be extra AF. So anyways, I hope you like this look. I hope you have a fantastic time at prom. Like I said, if you know anyone that needs a date, oh, let me know. Just kidding, that's creepy. I'm way told, that's embarrassing. Okay, enjoy the tutorial, love you. So I'm going to start by priming my eyelids. I'm using the NYX eyeshadow primer. Um, this is white. It's just going to make colors kind of really pop. Uh -huh. Looking like a damn clown right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of Set that with like a pretty neutral color. This is from the Morphe um, 35O matte palette. I'm just using this color. It's like a pretty neutral skin tone type color. And I'm using a large concealer brush to just pat that on my eye. This is like a really chill tutorial. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys right now. I'm just kind of chilling and feeling like looking glam. So. My makeup language might be uh, pretty unofficial at the moment, but you know, that's what we're all about, so. So, for the kind of crease of the eye, I want to use a color that sort of is a like legitimately neutral shade. Sometimes they can be really warm, sometimes they can be really cool. So what I'm gonna do here, just because I haven't quite yet found that perfect shade, so Bear with me. So this is from the Kylie palette. This is her kind of like pink color. What is this called? Sugar cookie? No. Yep, sugar cookie. So this one is obviously very pinky, but it's also kind of a nice like nude neutral color. So I'm gonna get a little of that on my brush, but then I'm also gonna take my Morphe palette. And from that, I'm going to take um, this color right here, which I feel like again, that one is a little bit cool, but it's going to balance out that pinky color. Um, and both of these are pretty, pretty mellow. So what that is going to give me is like this kind of like grayed out neutral color. And I'm just gonna work that all on my brow bone here. Like you can see how wide of an area I'm getting that. And it's obviously a little cooler than my skin tone. Like I don't want a nude color. I think you can find this kind of like a grayed out, like really neutral, neutral brown color that complements your skin tone. If you don't know exactly what complements your skin tone, don't go super orangey and don't go super like greenish kind of. I feel like some browns get kind of greenish. And with this, I'm just making kind of like a half moon shape and just using little like windshield wiper motions and some little circle motions just to smooth it out. So before I go any further with that, I am going to take um, some translucent powder. This is the Kat Von D Locket translucent powder. And what I'm gonna do, just because I'm not doing anything like super smoky or super intense with this look, but I still want everything to kind of blend and be defined. And just, I mean, really any brush that can pick up powder. This is just a slanted, hello? 
slanted eyeshadow brush. It just kind of has a flat edge here. I'm gonna pick up some of that product. Oh my gosh, I just said pick up and it like blew powder everywhere. Pick up some of that product um, on the edge of the brush and I'm gonna kind of essentially make a wing here. If that makes any sense, if it doesn't, um, I learned this tip from Jacqueline Hill and I'm just kind of like saying what she said. So. But it works, I've done it before, it's fantastic. Next, I'm going to use a little bit darker shade just to define this brow a little more. Um, I'm just gonna use a big fluffy blending brush here. I'm just gonna use this kind of brown chocolatey. This color is a little bit warm, um, so I'm gonna cool it down with like a dab of this one here. And super duper lightly, just apply that kind of to the smaller area of the crease. Don't want to be super dramatic with this color right here because this is still covering like a pretty significant part of the brow bone. If you do want to go a little darker, then, you know, by all means. And this is where you really want to start using circular motions to blend this color into sort of, you know, that ombre effect into the transition color and down into the lid. Okay, so now I am going to um, use this kind of darker, no, I'm going to use this darker brown shade here. And I'm going to use this very lightly on just a small eyeshadow brush. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills something. You can see how kind of small it is. And I'm going to start working that into the inner, or I'm sorry, the outer V and then smoking it a little bit into the lower lash line. So this is going to be like the smoky part of the eye, kind of the dramatic part. So just kind of working that into the crease here, down here, but then also bringing it down into the outer corner. So it kind of defines your lower lash line. Super light, super precise application. And what I'm going to do is take a tapered blending brush. You can see this is kind of pointed. This is going to keep like blend this out because it looks kind of crazy right now, but it's going to also keep it pretty precise in the position. And I'm just going to do little windshield wiper motions here. And you can see it's just starting to kind of diffuse that color. I want to work it into the lid like so, and then just focus on that crease. Then I'm going to dip that brush into that color super duper lightly just to get a little bit more on there. You know, to be honest, I don't even know if I need to use that small little brush in the beginning, so I'm gonna try it without and just dip it into the tapered brush here. We'll see what happens. If it looks different, well, you saw it here first. I tried it. I'm gonna take that first brush that I used in this tutorial, the Morphe E22, it looked like this, and just kind of blend everything a little bit here. I would like to kind of highlight my, under my brow a little bit. I'm gonna take this lightest shade in the Morphe palette, so it's kind of this like vanilla E, light peachy color. I'm gonna go back to this Kylie um, Holiday Edition palette, whatever, Holiday 2016 palette. I'm gonna use this color, I'm gonna use this color here. All I'm gonna do is get this on my finger, like so. Start by tapping it on to my eyelid. I'm gonna start kind of in the middle. I'm gonna go into the inner corner and then I'm gonna blend it out so that it kind of blends into that dark area here. I want to grab just a powder brush and kind of get rid of any of that translucent powder that I had going on here. So you can see it kind of kept that area clean, kept it from any fallout. Oh, this must have had some highlighter on it because I just highlighted my face a little bit. It's okay. I'm gonna go in with that color that we used um, initially, which I think was this one. If not, that's what we're using anyways. And I'm just gonna use a little definer brush and run it on my lower lash line. Finally, we just wanna do some inner corner highlights. I'm going to be using this um, pinky color here. It is called Vermeer. This is like the only shimmer 
on the eyes that we're using. So I'm gonna do a bit of a dramatic wing because if you like it, you get however dramatic you want. I'm also not gonna speak during this bit because I physically cannot. Can you focus please and thank you so much. Having a successful winged eyeliner day is in my top 10 favorite things. I'm gonna curl the lashes. Now ladies, it is prom. Um, I don't know if you usually wear false lashes, but like, if you're going to, I would do it tonight because why not? Unless you have banging lashes already. So I'm gonna be using some really extra lashes. Uh, these are the Coco Lashes Queen B is the style. So finally, I'm just going to take a little bit of black eyeliner and run it, eyeliner, and run it on my lower lash line pretty lightly, honestly. So if you do want to add a little glitter, here are some areas that you can add a little glitter to without being super dramatic. I am actually going to be using just straight up face and body glitter from NYX. I also have their the NYX glitter primer. I'll take whatever brush is kind of like appropriate for the area, but usually just a really small kind of like eyeliner brush um, like this one. This is from IT Cosmetics. And then I'll just get a little bit of the glitter primer onto there and just apply it to whatever area I want to get the glitter. Um, the first one would be on top of your eyeliner here. You can also just do it right under the eyeliner here. Um, another fun one, and this one is probably gonna be the most prominently glittery look, but, but would be under your lower lash line. And then the one that I'm going to do, because I really like this look, I think it's super duper fun, is the inner corner highlight right here. So this is the color that I'm using, the NYX Face and Body Glitter. Um, this is in, I don't know, it just says 08 is the color. It doesn't have a fun name, that's kind of a bummer. Oh, bronze, I guess it's called bronze. So I'm gonna start with that glitter primer. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out of the tube. You really don't need too, too much. So this primer is just a little bit thicker than like a normal primer. It's a little bit stickier um, and works really well for glitter, obviously. So then I just kind of get a little bit of that glitter on my vanity. I stick my brush in it and I would work it into um, like a little bit into the crease and a little bit into the lower lash line just so it's not like this weird like polka dot of glitter on your eye. There's the glitter application. I look so dumb, I'm like, <laughs> You could even work it all the way into the crease if you wanted, but I really like just kind of this very subtle glitter here. I think it's super fun. So, yay! I'm gonna put my fake prom dress on. <laughs> so here's the completed prom look with a little bit of glitter added. Again, you can always do without the glitter or do more glitter or whatever suits your fancy. Be extra, have fun. It's such a fun night to dress up, do really pretty hair, really pretty makeup, and just have a good time with your friends, or your boyfriend, or your date, or whatever. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Bye. I almost got lipstick everywhere. Ignore this big ass bruise on my arm. Look, it's literally green. That is so disgusting. Alright, so finally I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight because, hello, if your highlight isn't popping on prom, who even are you, honestly?